Cause we are so Gina always has an audition. We should consider soundproofing these walls. Look, she smudged my nail polish again. I thought doctors weren't allowed to wear nail polish. <laughs> well, as long as I don't wear it while I work, it's just fine. Uh, Danny, are you doing your laundry today? Don't even think about it. Ah, oh, now, Danny, it's just one blouse, I beg. Hey, that's meant for everyone. No one seems to be interested. Um, Zainab, do you want some ice cream? Uh-huh. Hey, Daring, like we were saying yesterday, it's all about branding. Listen to me, girl. You're like a product without a label. Are we back to this branding issue again? I thought, contrary to what you think, Zainab, there's nothing wrong with the way I do business. Here we go again. Everything is wrong with the way you do business. Why do you think you've not had that big break? For starters, Everyone owes you money, Daring. Oh, yeah? Gina still owes you from the time you sold the earrings to her. And Kiki, hmm? yeah, Kiki still owes you for the health products. Even Sonny owes you money, Daring. I, I, I scream for anyone. Daring is your favorite. You have nothing to say but to admit that every single word that I've uttered is the truth. I you have no business skills whatsoever. I may live in the same house with you. But I don't have to take your trash. Not anymore. Fine. What did I say? Everybody knows it's the truth. I ask you for anyone. <laughs> well, there's something else to be grateful for. And my friends, one, two, three, or more people. We have resolved all bitterness be dissolved. Sustain us today to live together. Cause we are so sister. Hey, hey, we are so sister. We have agreed and made an accord. You don't have to impress, but only try to express. Cause we are so sister Cause we are so sister So, like I was saying, I represent a firm that's ready to take the stock market to the next level. Mr. Mozizi. Sorry, I told you before we began that I have a short attention span. I hold meetings no longer than 10 minutes and everyone knows that. I get bored quite easily. Well, I understand the kind of man you are. You do? How much of me do you know? Well, I'm very observant. Abu, get the car ready. I'm coming out. Um, you're obviously a man who is schooled internationally. <laughs> no, not really. OK, OK, what I meant was well-schooled. Well, if I want to tell you, not that it has any relevance to this discussion. I studied at the University of Abia State political science. Hmm. A friend of mine studied there. Daring. Daring, what's the last name again? Call my office Monday morning. Ms. Nipe, it was nice to have met you. Daring Mojisola. How could I forget that? Did you say Daring Mojisola? Talk about girl power. I thought you said you had another meeting. That can wait. Tell me about Didi. Where is she? Didi. Are we talking about the same person? Darren Mojisola, cute, funny, quiet. Well, she's cute in a funny kind of way, and she's quiet as well. We have the same girl. I can't believe Didi here in Lagos. I thought she had gone back to the States. Well, it's a pretty small world. The two of you should hook up. No, I don't think that would be a good idea. She's probably married, and the last person she would want to see is me. I think it's best she doesn't find out that you saw me. No, nah. Why? Don't you want to see Dee Dee again? What if I told you that Darren is as single as can be? 
We live in the same house and we're practically best friends. Tell me more. Because we are. All right. So well, sister. Here we are. So sister. We have agreed and made. Kiki. Hmm? <laughs> I had a lot of work to do at the hospital today. Patients coming and going like ants on a match parade. Ah, Kiki, mm -hmm. what do your patients have to do with the kitchen? I had a hectic day too. I had auditions and I'm so exhausted. Gina, not you too. Hi, sis. This is indecent exposure. Can you put on a shirt? A shirt? And hide this body? It's me. I came to help you and you are just attacking me. You? Help me? In the kitchen? No thanks. The last time we all know what happened. What happened? This is not fair. I did what you asked me to do. I said taste the food, not devour the chicken. Thank God I showed up on time. Can somebody help me out here? Zainab, it's so nice to see you. I missed you terribly. How did your day go? Kiki, mm -hmm. can I have my bags back? Oh, I can smell chicken, fries, meat pies, scotch eggs. I think your nose is working over time. <laughs> wow, Zainab, I think it's time we start confessing. What did you do? Clear out the entire fast food joint. There's enough here to feed a battalion. Actually, it's for dairy. Yeah? All of it. I was really hard on her this morning, and I feel really sober and bad about it. <sighs> you? Sober? Are you sure you're feeling okay? <sighs> oh, ho. I see. So, this is why no one wanted to help me out. Actually, dairy. All these belong to you. Zainab bought them for you. I find that so hard to believe. Well, so do we, but can we just hurry up and get this chicken out of its misery? You're more of a picture of misery than the chicken. Can't you see it is lonely? It's in pain. Damn me. For how long do we have to put up with you in this house? Not until school resumes, which is in September. Damn it. Don't touch it. I don't want any of this. Zainab. I will not be bought. Okay, what do you want? An apology. I, I guess we must say goodbye to the chicken. Okay, I'm sorry. Hmm? What was that? I'm sorry. So this means you agree that I have good business skills? Yes. You have good business skills. You were right, and I was wrong. Something is out of place. Zainab is never wrong, or she never admits to being wrong. I smell something. Well, so do I, but girls, there's chicken at stake. You are such a long throat. Ah, all the food you eat, if I wonder where it goes to. I was already thinking how I could sleep without coming over to apologize. Enough of all this talk talk, now. Can't we just dig in? Come on, bring that back, Joe. Cause we are so sister. Cause we are so sister. This is heaven. Share heaven. I'm full. Mm. With all this, there's no need for dinner. Oh, I'm daring. Mm. I um, happen to bump into one of your classmates. Who? A Charles Mozizi, a very classy guy, and he says he fancies you. Mozizi? That bomb. What did he want? Did you just call him a bomb? Are you aware that he's the owner of one of the biggest IT companies in the country? And he's the only man that I know that wears bonzini. <laughs> Someone please help me out. What is a bonzini? It is perfume that big boys wear. You kidding? <laughs> Daring. You don't hammer. <laughs> and where did you happen to bump into this classmate of mine? Well, actually, the thing is, he's a client. 
It's a joke, right? Was that why you bought this junk food and apologized? I knew something was out of place. Do you really think I have good business idea? Or you just said it for the money? Well, what I think really isn't important. See, Derry and... Look, sis. Why stop when I agree for this guy? Can you imagine? Chips and chicken for life. The thing is, I told him you go out with him Friday night. Go back and tell him that I said no. I will not be taken for granted, not in any way. Darren, I think you need to rethink your decision. These chips taste really good. Mozizi was Darren's ex-boyfriend. He was a real jerk, and I think he just crossed the line. Now what did I do wrong? I tried to help. I'm a witch. I do nothing. I'm still a witch. If you really think about it, maybe you are. <laughs> Ow! How to catch a boss when it seems the last one has come along. What? It's Friday night. I know. Isn't tonight the night Mr. Mozizi will show up? Good news for everyone. It makes no difference to me. Let's look at it from this angle. When was the last time you went on a date with anyone? You see? I can't remember either. Charles is a bastard. Even if you were the only man on earth, I won't, okay? Darren, you knew this guy like five years ago. Isn't it possible that after all these years he could have changed? Then there's Zainab. She thinks she can just snap her finger and I'll do her bidding. I will not come so easy. Not this time. It's just a date. Nothing more. Just dress up, carry yourself into the car, eat, laugh, drink, and finish. Why don't you go for the date? My dear, if my name was Derry Mojisola, we wouldn't be having this conversation. How did it go? Will she do it? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm going to lose my client. Maybe you should call him and tell him that she's ill or something. And what if he insists on seeing her himself? What do I say? Mm, you could tell him that if he doesn't mind, you have a housemate who doesn't mind being called Didi. Damien, please, I need your help. I'm going to lose the biggest client of my life and all I need for you to do is just cooperate. Please, I'm sorry, what do you want? I won't. No way. I'm going to open that door and tell him the truth to his face. Be prepared to face the consequences. Hello. Hi. Didi. Can I come in? Sure, come in. Aren't you dressed? Aren't we going? Oh, you could have called so we could discuss it on the phone. I wanted to, but Zineb told me... Told you what? ...about the ear infection. Since you haven't been able to receive any calls. She said it was really bad. Aha. Uh -huh. What else has she been telling you? Nothing much. That you are best friends. And you talk a lot. Best friends? We are? Oh, yes, we are. I'll get dressed. And I'll give her a hand. Okay. I'll, I'll help them. Because we are so sister. Because we are so sister. The only reason I'm doing this is because you are my friend and I like you. Hm. Yeah, right. You turned into jelly when you spoke to this guy. I can't believe that a guy affect you that way. So you are saying I shouldn't go? No, I don't mean it to go. Hmm? I beg, go. I didn't ask your opinion. And I wasn't even going to give it. It's just that image is everything. Especially when you're going out with a guy like Charles Mozizi. You know, with his class and all that. Figured you wear something else. 
because nothing in your wardrobe matches what Muzizi is wearing. So let's see what I can come up with. You are even more beautiful than I remember. Zainab, what did you do with Darren? She looks absolutely stunning. I hope you are not expecting some kind of favor like this. Nah, it's just a good thing to reconnect two lovebirds who should never have been parted in the first place. Liar. <laughs> Go on, have fun. And uh, Darren? Mm -hmm. Don't forget the financial <laughs> bonds, okay? I mm -hmm. slipped into your handbag just in case you forget. <laughs> Have fun! Bye! Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It's a great honor to receive this award as the most efficient manager in this company. It wasn't easy getting here. I had to do a lot of work. <laughs> Zainab, what are you doing? It's 11 o'clock. Preparing your speech already? Yeah. The thing is that if one of us hits a meal this month, the person gets an award of some sort. And you think you'll be one of such people? I have Mozizi's money in the bag. That's good enough for me. <clears throat> so what do you think? <sighs> Still can't believe it. It's a Friday night. I'm at home and Derry is out. Finally, the dividends of having a good sister is here. Ah, uh, back so soon. How did it go? Did you have fun? Can I at least answer one question at a time? Sure. Chas Mozizi is a jerk. <gasps> what happened? Did you at least get him to sign the papers? Come on, just uh, sit down. Come on. What happened? Hi, I am going. Mm. It is not fair what people are doing in this house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It all started out well. Mm -hmm. We went to this exquisite restaurant. What? Uh, hi everyone. I was just leaving. We had drinks, mm -hmm. we danced, mm -hmm. we laughed. Mm -hmm. He took me to his arms and told me how much he had always loved me. Mm -hmm. And then it happened. What happened? The ring fell out from his pocket. You mean he proposed? <laughs> proposed. You're right. It was his wedding ring. It turned out that he's married and he tried to hide the fact. Oh, God, catch him. I looked straight into his eyes and told him what I should have told him years ago. I told him I didn't need him. Was that all you said? I'm happy that finally I was able to stand up to him. Mozizi hasn't changed. He still manipulates people. I guess this means the manager of the month award is far away. Derry, hmm? I'm sorry. And this time I mean it. I never knew I was letting a viper back into your life. You don't have to be sorry. Because I was finally able to stand up to him. I was so infatuated with him that all he had to do was smile and I would do his bidding. But for the first time, I was able to say no. And I want to thank you for that. You mean you're actually worse than you are right now? Me and my friends, one, two, three or more people. We have resolved 
all bitterness be dissolved. Sustain us today to live together, cause we are so sister. Hey, hey, we are so sister. We have agreed and made an accord. You don't have to impress, but only try to express, cause we are so sister. Not forget to be kind when I start to wonder, then I might start to ponder at all the great soul sisters. But if